the reality is that nobody has any edge over what the election outcome is going to be on the on the first round. So what we're advising clients to do is, is to stay on cash, and uh, not play anything uh, prior to the first round, and and then react uh, on on Monday, uh, depending on what happens. Uh, just uh, take the lead uh, on what the market does or not. Uh, What's interesting is what we learned from uh, the Trump and the Brexit uh, uh, situations is that Asia got it wrong. So stocks uh, sold off right after uh, both boats. And then when Europe came in, uh, stocks went up. Uh, so one of the things that we're, uh, we're advising clients to do is not, not to uh, follow the Asian lead, uh, wait until Europe for, for clues on what's going to happen. Ah. The second thing is what happens uh, when uh, when, uh, when Macron or Fillon get elected, that's the most likely outcome. Uh, if it happens, we know that there's a lot of pent up demand for European equities. You've seen uh, the start of what looks like uh, big inflows into European equities. And on the other hand, US equities and EM equities have had really large inflows over the last uh, six months. Uh, so we think we'll, we'll see a rotation uh, from uh, US and EM equities into European equities if any of the uh, market-friendly candidates uh, goes through to the, to the second round.